Zag Infotech service begins here. Welcome to the Zen GST software demonstration developed by Zag Infotech Private Limited. First of all, you need to register by entering your name, address, and necessary credentials as required in the form. After filling the required information, click on register to proceed further. Now, you have to enter your username and password in order to go to the master page. After entering your sign-in credentials, you land up at the master page. In order to create the individual master, click on individual and click on add button. After clicking on add button, you need to enter the profile of the individual like first name, father's name, date of birth, nationality, PAN number, address and contact of the individual. Click on save button in order to save the information. Now, in order to create the masters of the client, click on client and client creation tab. Now, click on add button in order to create a new client. Now, you have to fill the necessary information required for the client creation. We have given facility for the import of the client or you can create a new client also. In order to create a new client, just enter the status of the organization. It can be a partnership, proprietorship, public sector, private company, societies or AOPs, etc. Just select the status, name of the organization, incorporation date, nationality, etc. Also fill the other information like address, contact, GSTN number that is applicable on the client and the goods and services related to the client. Entering all these information will help you in creating the invoices and the returns. After creating the client, you need to save the information and then we will proceed to the next master. Now let us learn how to create the bills. First of all, you need to do the setup of the bills. Create on setup in order to proceed further. Now select the client for which you want to do the setup. Click on setup in order to proceed further. Now you can select the billing for goods or services, bill number, bill type, discount type, memo type and other credentials as provided in the form. Now let's proceed in order to know how to create the invoice. Click on the invoice button. Now select the client for which you want to create the invoices. Now, you have to select the receiver of the client. Now, suppose I am selecting Mr. Ajay Sharma. If I want to create the invoice related to goods, create the goods and select add button. Just enter the necessary information required in order to create the invoice like memo type, invoice number, invoice date, bill type that can be original, revised or cancelled bill. Select the dealer type like registered, unregistered or export, invoice type, receiver name and the necessary information like the quantity, the per piece rate and value. Now save the information and we will proceed further with the formation of the returns. Click on the return tab and GSTR 1. Now this is the dashboard of the clients. Select the client for whom you want to create the return. Now click on fill form. This is the dashboard of all the invoices of GSTR 1. If I want to create the invoice related to B2B, click on B2B. Click on add button in order to proceed further. Select the receiver name invoice type and necessary information. As you have entered the required information, now you can save your details in order to proceed further. In the same way, we can also enter the other information like B2C large, credit debit notes, 
Let's proceed with credit debit notes. In case of registered persons, click on add button in order to proceed. Enter the required information like receiver name, note type, debit number, note date, invoice number, invoice date, taxable values and the rates of the products. Click on save button in order to save your details. In the same manner, you can also fill the export details, B2C small details, nil rated supply, advance receipt, HSN summary and documents of the client. Now, we have also provided the facility of e-filing. Click on e-filing tab in order to file your GSTR return. Click on return submit. Click on save invoice on portal in order to file your return. Fill in the required information and in this way you can file your GSTR return on the portal. Thank you so much. We will update you for the further returns in our next update. Thanks for watching this.